I'm absolutely sure that our people understand what's going on in the world. The science tells us what we now need to know, which is we are facing a global climatic crisis. We have, as a planet, 10 years to halt the increase in temperature globally. It has to be a group-wide commitment, otherwise we're going to fall short, which means that everybody has to play their part to give us a chance of having a, a planet that's going to uh, be worthy of, uh, of handing down to the next generation. Social inequalities alongside climate change uh, is one of the, the major features of, of how we intend to interact with the communities in which we work over the next 10 years. With the focus and locality of, of our people, the opportunity of interacting with social enterprise locally, either for training or for education, just gives us a, a great local presence and to, to feed on the passion of our people who, after all, are employed locally. It's been said many times over the last couple of decades that you know, we have a purpose beyond profit. If we're going to continue with that focus and that commitment, then we need to expand how we contemplate and deal with um, our responsibility in relation to sustainability and the environment. We're launching a new 10-year sustainable development strategy today, of which I'm hugely proud. It goes far beyond anything we might have contemplated seven or eight years ago, and is certainly industry leading. And the three key themes that uh, form part of this strategy, brilliant buildings, building lives, and better planet. The biggest issue for the construction industry is that if you just look at it in its simplest form, in terms of environmental impacts, a high impact industry, but the great thing, and the thing that I think gives us most hope, is that because it is a high impact sector, small changes do make a material difference. And those are things we focused on in our first 10 years. Our second 10 year plan is going to make a step change in terms of how we address that. I'm incredibly proud of the effort, input, and also the output of uh, one of our, what our people and our company has achieved. It's quite extraordinary in the fact that we've it you know, had a radical impact on over 10,000 young lives already, a year ahead of target, with the full buy-in and support of our people has been, it's been extraordinary. When I sort of drill down and, and look at the things that don't go right in the built environment, the primary problem is that we as an industry build buildings that don't perform as designed. Our future plan will see a real intent, a growing expertise in ensuring that the buildings we build are mapped and matched to a customer's expectations and therefore the performance gap of that building will be narrowed or beaten. If every individual in our organisation, if every member of our supply chain, if every customer gets on board then at least we're doing what we possibly can. We can influence hugely the, the output and the resource consumption of that entire supply chain and that's tens of thousands of people that can do a better job. The exciting thing is that it's going to transform the way that we work. Uh, I see the whole sustainability theme as something that makes us a better business in a way that others are going to find it really difficult to match, which therefore means hopefully we will become a more attractive business to our customer base, to our supply chain and to people who want to work with us. It's a refresh of the organisation. It's a chance to build on those strong foundations that we've had for almost two centuries and you know, be a leading light in the, in the future. <laughs>